and so it begins it's about nine o'clock in the morning you can see i got shade on everything the sun is actually right behind this tree much lower i'll get some sun over here in a second but i started to disconnect these two which is going into my upstairs array using that wire that's going around to the right side of my house i'm going to try and lift these panels up kind of flat flat so i don't have to disconnect this and then i'm gonna get up there and kind of like work them up <laughs> and then up if i could manage that with the cable and then i also want to try and lift these up right here in this area a little bit closer because this particular 50 foot cable goes all the way into my basement so this cable doesn't seem very long and this is the problem that i always talked about with putting panels over here is this problem of the wire is going to have to come across here some kind of way and then go into this side of my garage because this side of my garage is where i have the gap at and i actually need to address that gap as well so i'm looking for a new garage door seal that may lay better on top of these cables because this part over here is just nothing there. And then the rest is like an old garage seal. So I'm getting after it. And actually, I don't know if you can see the gradient difference here, but that right there is higher. There's like a mole that was digging through my yard. I think this is a hole. So I need to take my shovel and see if I could work some of this dirt to fill in this gap so I could get a more flat thing. I don't even want to think about trying to pull this stuff up i'm just uh, i'm just gonna try and make it work as best i can today <laughs> and the goal is really to try and get this done early so it's not inhibiting my solar input because i'm not getting a whole lot of solar to begin with but it's just been like overcast days and stuff like that so you can see the sun kind of moving now i am getting power up here one of these panels depending on how i have to deal with my wires may end up kind of going up here at some point because I need the power, fam. I really do. <laughs> now, I got this somewhat leveled out. I don't know if you could tell, but these particular joints, this stuff, I want this stuff out, but that may be a battle for another summer. Now these joints are up here. They're actually getting a little bit sun, which is cool. You can see right here, they wouldn't be getting any sun. Now what I am concerned about is this brick lip because it has the potential to block sun. Now I don't imagine <laughs> that it would because essentially the sun would have to be like down here. <laughs> so anything that's up here should not cast any shade, right? I'd like to believe that. Next, these two need to go up there. Actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if these cables will reach before I mess around with the panels because that could be very important. I think these panels are going up here either way. I'm just going to have to make it work though. This may actually not work because <laughs> this cable is pretty much just right here and I need it to go all the way up there. And I also need to allow for it to have to jump up this curb or come over there and come around. So I don't think this is enough. feel herculean right now <laughs> it wasn't too bad though now i don't think this is enough to matter but we got a little shade coming from these little branch tree leaf joints but that shouldn't be a problem now i have to figure out how much slack i have with this cable let's go check this is that power station right here it's in the duran duran and you can see i'm really exact here so that's barely getting it i may have to Pull an extension cable from somewhere else so the truth of the matter is what i may have to do is this is less likely to be honest but i may have to scavenge some of this cable because look at how long this cable is it's a 100 foot 10 gauge cable and i got all of this cable right here that cable could get me there <laughs> and that's going to the far array over there but right now i am not getting solar and that that makes me very unhappy so i may just have to move this power station closer just to get the job done another option i have that's quicker is to just scavenge this one right here because um, i don't need as long of a cable oh my gosh i don't need as long of a cable up here as i used to because i used to drag this cable this panel around the back 
but I don't have any space to put it around the back because something's already occupying that space. Let me show you. And right here. Yeah, I'm gonna just grab this one real quick and get the job done. All right, we in business. Boom, boom, boom. OG cable going in. Let's see what we're looking at so early. Duran Duran is getting 145 watts. Let's go see what my top floor joint is getting. I think it's in shade though. Yeah, it's in shade. So, so much of that. But um, boom. It's like both of them jokers are in shade <laughs> right there. <laughs> so the plan was to move these panels over here. And I'm just not ready to do that today because I don't know where the Bougie V is going to go. Maybe it'll come up here. Maybe it'll float. So I'm going to just kind of sit with this for a little bit and figure out what I'm going to do next. Oh.